<laughs> He's the Jackie Robinson of Ghostbusters. He is, yeah. Uh-huh. The, the, the slurs that those ghosts used to throw at him. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm going to let one of you catch me? I don't think so, man. <laughs> Busting a bunch of like 1880s ghosts in New York. And they're like, oh, I already died and went to hell and escaped. <laughs> and now you're dragging me back? <laughs> this is why we Slimer. fought that war. Subscribe to the podcast, KFC Radio on YouTube. Bang. Yeah. Yeah. Ian Finance is going to be furious. You stole his set. What's that? You stole Finance's set. <laughs> Could not have ripped it off more. <laughs> we 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 uh, we said like all along. Pavs actually came up with like the new color scheme, yeah. orangish, brownish, seventies throwback vibe. Like we put we made a new logo. We put this in motion. Like the next weekend, we did Ian, uh, Ian's show, and it was like fuck. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, Chrissy D came out with like a TV show that's basically identical to this and uh Damn. and the garbage boys kind of have the same vibe in, in the basement we yes. have a guy here robbie fox he does my mom's basement similar vibe so yeah we're uh, all parallel thinking yeah <laughs> yours is the best version of this oh thank you sir <laughs> you're not you just saying a, that because you you're have on a handsome the show piece today. of ass behind the bar yeah <laughs> yeah that goes a long way ian would love you in there <laughs> <laughs> um so what's up man how are you i'm very well you um you crushed it for us in that was denver right the that denver was denver yeah. yeah that was that kind was, of you to have me what did, what, what did you think of uh of that experience they loved you guys yeah <laughs> oh boy they were so eager to see their friends yeah. from the internet <laughs> well that's yeah i i wonder like if you're there for we, we we've we've toyed with it both ways of like having openers and not having openers because yeah. i do think Part of the time, it's like they just want to see us. Mm -hmm. But we've also found that when you know coming into a cold audience sucks. So it's almost like we got to throw you to the wolves. (laughs) Oh, that's totally fine. I knew what it was. Yeah, yeah. I was biting the bullet, and the bullet was explosive. (laughs) Did you? I didn't think it was. It wasn't. I I thought I. I have a completely different memory of it. Then not memory. I. I I remember it very vividly. There's no doubt that like your material killed. But you're saying the audience was not receptive? When you open for these uh, these events, because that's what that was. Mm-hmm. Like That was a big deal to the people who attended mm-hmm. because you guys are such a force. Um, you guys are coming to Colorado. It's this pilgrimage for the first time. They are so stoked to see y'all that when some fucking local bumbling oaf goes on stage, <laughs> they just want to throw change and batteries at me. <laughs> you know, they want to scare me off the stage. I, mean, I, 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 I it went fine. I don't, I, I loved the experience and you guys were so nice. Um, but yeah, I've definitely had maybe a thousand better sets in that room <laughs> than, than that one. <laughs> See, I don't, I didn't, think, is... I, I was standing right by the curtain yeah. and I was fucking dying. I, I guess I like know. when I laugh, yeah, you guys have good taste. My... Yeah, well, so, <laughs> yeah. so that's the thing is I, mm. I almost, that, that, that's, that sucks to hear because I want our audience. Part of what we've done the last like four or whatever years now is bring in so many good comics. Yeah. And part of what we like really uh, pride ourselves on doing is like, Showing new comics to new audiences, and so Which is what you should be doing. Yeah, <laughs> that's very yeah. good of you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. but it's you know, you're joking in a way, but it's also great for us. Where it's like, oh, like, I'm not joking. Oh, okay, yeah, a I lot mean, of people huh. don't put on people when oh, they okay, climb. Yeah, you know, so it was cool of you guys that, yeah. to kind of be like, hey, we're coming to town, and here's this this guy that we want you to know about. And we also like, though, cool. for us, it's like. Here's this guy who's a lot more talented than us. <laughs> like, <laughs> Maybe like, a different thing, you know, like <laughs> different I'm, I'm, expertise. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I'm happy that like they're still excited to see us, but I'm like, the highlight of that night was Sam set. <laughs> if you're talking about just like being funny on stage, no brainer. Yeah, you yeah. know, <laughs> almost all the people that open for us with like professionally crafted material mm-hmm. is better than us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one we're up there like, does Godzilla beat King Kong? Or yeah, no? right, right, right. Like, that's the crux of our... One day, one and time, when you ask that question, your crowd starts weeping, and they're like, finally! <laughs> yeah, we're Someone's here. saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> do, do the jerk-off stuff. Do the yeah. stuff about jerking off the wrong Thank way. Thank you for telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> one night, like, many years ago now, we had... Uh, Chrissy D was our guest... And Dan Soder was like our pop in. Yeah. And those two were on stage with us. And I wanted to be like, we're just going to go sit in the stands. Yeah, uh, we're, we're, yeah. yeah, we'll just sit in the crowd. Like, what are we, you know, yeah. we're so lucky to have. That was a long time ago now. But yeah, yeah like at that. And, 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 and those guys are blown up. But like, even then, they were still like very successful. It was like, we should not be up here right now. We're just like ruining their show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it's you, you were, uh, you're a fucking murderer up there. And I, I, I described you before. Uh, you came in uh, on the show. I said, you know, you you 
opened for Tim for what, like a year and a half or something? Yeah, crazy. Tim the Tool Man so, Dylan. So I, uh, <laughs> I, I described that as a tour of duty. In my yeah. mind. Dude, like that, Tim that was, is a, he's the dog, man. Dude, he's that, that incredibly is incredibly generous and sweet. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, to me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine a year. What, you can't uh, imagine uh, a year of traveling the world with a man with immaculate taste and a bunch of expendable income? <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking sick, That's dog. true. Yeah, yeah I was the best say. restaurants in the world yeah. and like five star accommodations. You're, you're on Tim's good side. Your life is great. Dude, I've, I've never, yeah. he's only been benevolent to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's and not like he's, he's not like, it's, just, it's not even like he's. Uh, like a bad dude, it's just like if he doesn't fuck with you, you're not yeah. you're not getting the treatment. You're not he getting. He doesn't the, have time for that. Right, shit. right. As right. Tim said to me various times, he's like, "I'm a new money homosexual from Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nightmare." <laughs> <laughs> when he really li- like lays out his full his full description is like a Game of Thrones title, where he's like, "Yeah, I'm yeah. a new money homosexual from from Long Island with uh-huh. a uh, with a schizophrenic mother, and I'm a recovering." Cocaine ad from when yeah. I was 13 years old. Like, yeah. nice to meet you. Like, yeah. Holy fucking shit. We're lucky that all you do is comedy yeah. and that you're not, you know, a yeah. mass murderer or something. Yeah, or we don't run a bank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're lucky he didn't go into finance. <laughs> We'd all be wearing his clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, just seeing Tim interact with the world because he he doesn't have time for people's foolishness. Yeah. And, and I'm such a people pleaser because I come from out west, you know? Totally. And I'm just always... So Tim would uh, be very direct with people. Yes. And just direct openness to me is like... My God! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What the heck? You can- no, just telling someone like no. <laughs> it's like <gasps> how dare they? <laughs> you Dude, know? I I've been like uh, sick for a few days and I've been sleeping well, so I've been in a bad mood. And I took the subway yesterday. I went up to Central Park and I was coming back, and it was like it was a jam Sunday afternoon on a beautiful day. Like the subway was fucking packed, and we were getting. On, I was getting on at 81st Street, and I just went a hey, move. And the person like <laughs> moved right away, and I, I I'm it, it, He's I, the I, most people pleaser. I identify as a guy from out west. John, like, John is... would ordinarily like let someone sit on his lap on the subway. <laughs> like a stranger could sit on his lap, and he'd be like, "Well, man, this is just happening now." Being like a human futon. <laughs> <laughs> no getting along. Yeah. <laughs> the guy initially slid over, and then got up and just stood in front of his girlfriend, and I sat there and I was like. I think I'm president now. Like, this is <laughs> it was the power. It was bro. I had a surge of power. Doing shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I would never in a million. Isn't years that so him. funny though? Like like just the basic. Like it was. I wasn't asking him to squeeze. There was room. I was just like, yo, slide over. Hey, move over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, why? Slide over. Like, would you mind making room? No, I, I, like, I, I like, could give go, it to dude. Move yeah, it's, all, it's, it's like because it's almost like you should know that, dude. You should already know yeah. to fucking move over a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but man, it's so interesting that like just being a, just being honest or reasonable mm-hmm. or like, hey, I actually don't like that. You yeah. know, it's like. Why does that come across as like, oh, 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 oh. probably that's because rude. I, was, I was raised by f- mutants, you know? <laughs> God bless them both. But, you know, I remember my Mexican grandmother just always being in the way at the grocery store and apologizing. And yeah, I'd be I'm like, sorry, Grandma, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. you're four foot eight. You're not in the way. <laughs> I'm your giant, obese 13 year old grandson. I'm 6'1, 280. I'm in the way, Grandma. Allow me to apologize. What a scene that is. Mm-hmm. Grandma and Shrek just walking through yeah, the fucking grocery uh-huh. store together. Grandma and Shrek, but also Donkey at the same time. Time. <laughs> you know, looks like Shrek smells like donkey. All the sex appeal of Fiona, <laughs> and then his like it looks like you know my care, t- my care, my my tender. My grandma didn't look like she at all looked any kind of like relation to me. Right. So it yeah, just seemed I mean, like we I, were both. I would never have guessed that you're Mexican. Yeah. Well, uh, hopefully no one does. <laughs> 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 I would have got Montreal a lot quicker, fellas. <laughs> no, yeah, I don't present as any kind of like cool. I just look like the Scots Irish, seventy five percent of my family. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, that 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 makes a lot more sense. Mm-hmm. But you sprinkle in a little little flavor in there. That's mm. oh yeah. No, I mean, I know how to make tortillas. I make a hell of a pozole. You so know? you're a corn you're a corn guy then. Corn tortilla? Corn tortilla? Yeah. No. Good. My no. tongue still works. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. Dude, Dude I, the people are like, it's authentic. I'm like, well, the Mexicans were doing it fucking wrong, man. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Flour is far superior. Yeah, there's been mass improvements in agriculture. <laughs> totally. Like, yeah. I, I actually always think that, like, I have, that there's some, you know what, like, they say, like, it's like some stranded DNA where um, cilantro tastes like soap. Sure, yeah. I have that. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm like, there must be another one. 
where corn. Corn, tortilla. corn tortillas taste like fucking yoga mats. Yeah. I, but it's I don't not, get it. It's not that because it, it, it looks and feels like one too. It's like <laughs> rubbery. The you texture know? is terrible. And it's like, I, you know, people say like when you heat it up or you toast it or whatever, like it gets a little bit better, I guess. But it's like, I don't know. This is a, a rubber mat. And they give you two of them, too, all the time. Yeah. yeah. They're stuck if together. Two, I want, give me two flour tortillas. Mm-hmm. Give me one fucking corn if, tortilla. If you yeah. need two tortillas to, like, hold your shit together, then... But you know what that is for? That's actually, it's quite innovative. It's, you're supposed to eat your taco over the second one. Mm-hmm. And then anything that falls out, not a taco. Like, when they give you two corn, yeah, 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 you're yeah. supposed to pull one right, off. Right, yeah. I get that. But it's also kind of like, I don't know, just wrap me up in a good, nice fucking flour burrito, uh, flour tortilla, and we... Won't even have That's why problem. tacos are rabe, so the move. I learned about them recently. There's a Mexican truck, food truck that parks outside my apartment every night. I watch it like a dog waiting for his owner to come home. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you're licking the glass. Dude, like 7 p.m., like, I turn my chair. I don't watch TV anymore. I'm like, all right. You should be coming pretty soon. He always parks there? Like, that's oh, like every night. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. dope. Um, and, that's uh, a dream come true. It's fucking really, like, it's real run down. Like, it's fucking, it's primo. And uh, I'd never heard of tacos or rabes. And... Um, as far as I can tell, it's just a taco. The the filling of a taco, where it's not overly stuffed like a burrito, so you get yeah. a softball. It's a, it's the filling of a taco, the amount of a taco, wrapped like a burrito in a flour tortilla. Mm. Can't say enough good things. Yeah, about that, okay, that's yeah. That just but sounds like a reasonably your, sized food. It's a lot of calories from just the the tortilla, though. But it's not a burrito sized tortilla. Right, I know. It is. Oh, okay, so it's it, a petite tortilla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But also. It, Tortillas are awesome, man. Like I don't. I, Why are you looking at me with this accusation? Well, because well, you, you said it's a I lot of a calories in the in the uh, tortilla, but yeah. it's like that's where a lot of the calories come from. It's a beautiful, soft, fluffy tortilla. Yeah, it is like eating God's pillowcase. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm in when, I, when with you, you get a, a fresh pack of them at the grocery store, yeah. I legitimately think it's like a pillow. I'm like, I squeeze it. I could lay on it. Yeah, a fresh ten count tor- flour tortilla. Oh, you know when you rip the fucking heart out of a baguette. Yeah. yeah, that's what the tortillas <laughs> yeah. feel like. Yes, yeah. one of my mm-hmm. stupidest moments uh, in my entire life. I did not realize that tortilla chips were made from tortillas. That is a low moment because I think of it as a <laughs> a crispy triangle yeah. versus this round, soft, fluffy goodness, mm-hmm. and just never thought about cutting them up in triangles and cooking them that way. Look, man, we're not always operating at hundred <laughs> percent. What, right? what, what is the dumbest things we've had? A big week here at Barstool, people mm-hmm. admitting dumb things about themselves and and and. And some people were getting bent out of shape about it. What do you think is the dumbest thing you – did you have a moment where you were like, oh, I thought this my whole adult life oh, yeah. and realized? I thought uh, the chain pizza restaurant, Pizza Hut, was pizza hot until I was 22. <laughs> that's a terrible one. That's, that's a great one. That's my lowest, pizza dumbest hot. moment. Yeah, and I was dating a girl, and I was like, we should go to the Pizza Hot lunch buffet in Castle Rock, Colorado. And she was like – what is this? <laughs> is this like some bastardized? Like, yeah, like a hyper leg. specific. Yeah, and I yeah. was like, no, oh, pizza hot. You know, they got the stuffed crust pizza. Pizza's hot all the time. <laughs> like, you know, the roof is like a hut. Did you know how <laughs> it was spelled, dude? Did I don't know. I never see it. I, of course, I saw it. I lived at that lunch buffet, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you don't Does get three thirty like by you know? eighth grade if you're not at the Pizza Hut lunch buffet. <laughs> but I wasn't at the Pizza Hut lunch buffet. I was at the Pizza Hot lunch buffet. And I was in there just crushing pies. And yeah, she was like, no, it's Pizza Hut. And I was like, and we got in an argument for the half hour drive it took us to get to the lunch buffet <laughs> then I got there and I was like my god I'm the dumbest man alive <laughs> <laughs> oh lord how do you let me inside of you <laughs> this makes you dumber than me <laughs> that, that when you when you've got someone like dead to rights like that in an argument I can't imagine I can't imagine being in the car on the way to Pizza Hut with a motherfucker who thinks it's Pizza Hut <laughs> yeah. and being like I just Green light, come on, let me get there. I cannot wait to rub your Especially face. Especially one that you've said I love you to, yeah. and you've introduced to your parents, yeah. you know, that held your grandfather's hand as he died in his deathbed. <laughs> There's a lot deeper levels to this than just giant oaf, you know? Because I look dumb as hell. I get that. And I've had to counter. No, you uh, seem like a very smart guy. I yeah. seem it when I'm allowed to talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you see me just rocking slowly on the train, you know, you're like, oh no, keep him away from the rabbits. <laughs> I was just about to Don't say, let him pet anything you love. <laughs> Big, a little bit of a, a Vice and Men vibe, yeah. for sure. Uh-huh. Millennia, for yeah. sure. But no, I, I no, just... You sound like one of the smartest people I know. I don't know if you actually are yet, but you sound very intellectual and very well-spoken. I just read a lot of books. Yeah, That's but, but that mm. is smart. That's a good to way me, to... To what, me, what is, what is being smart is reading books. See, mine is buying books. 
My, just having them. I, dude, which is them. actually one of the nicest things I can say about you is uh, when we when when we were in Colorado and you mentioned you'd written a book and and having talked to comedians, I I know it's a very well received book. But I bought it immediately. I bought oh, it yeah. in the uh, in the green room. Oh, I bought mm-hmm. uh, Running the Light, Sam Talent. I have it downloaded on my phone. I'm not read it yet. But, yeah, okay. But I, say, I, I got I, that seventeen uh, bucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cash rules, baby. Whatever, man. It yeah. is still it is still sitting on my kitchen table. I do want to read it and intend to read it. I have. I treat books like the gym, bro. If you, you know, come like into my house, it, I don't you're go. like this dude's a fucking reader. Oh, dude, yeah. yeah. I got books everywhere. I have I've read poof, not a lot of not them. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It's I just also about, like you take I'm just supporting art. I'm right, like you read brother. I appreciate it. Smarter. No, I just read a lot of contemporary American novels. I read everything from like 1928 on. Like, there's this guy Sherwood the, okay. Anderson. The fact that you say okay. I read a lot of contemporary American <laughs> right. novels says yeah. everything I need to know. I gotta read the room. Set on that couch. <laughs> <laughs> I read shit that's like you know, uh, the like the, the 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 dad who's a retired spy needs to come out of retirement to save his daughter. Yeah, like, that's yeah. the shit I'm reading. I read the know? scripts for Angel Has Fallen. <laughs> hey, all you're, you're reading though. That's all that matters. Yeah, well, I don't people even always do that much want to negate their experience reading to try and impress other people who read. And it's like, no, you're reading. We're in the one pop percent of the population that still so reads true. books. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, we should all be proud of ourselves. I do, yeah. I can't imagine, like, it, reading's kind of silly now. Yeah. That you have There's everything so many else. better ways to entertain so yourself. So many better ways. Video games Faster are telling the ways. best stories you've ever read. Yeah, you know what for I mean? Real. It's Movies, interactive. Television, and... everything is so good. But do you still think that there's an inherent value in reading books? I just get off on reading. I like reading. Yeah. <laughs> because um, because you, you're, you think you're holier me, than thou. Exactly. You, you're better than <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. It fills me with a sanctimonious pride. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I play a video game. I am better than no one. I read a book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You better watch out. I'm surprised I'm, I can the hear president. you from my <laughs> ivory <laughs> tower. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm so high ascended above you. I come above down you. off my clouds handing <laughs> yeah. out lessons to the sinners. Yeah. You know? But yeah. I own a shitload of books I haven't read. I am always buying books. I bought three books in Providence on Thursday. I might read one of them. Yeah. I bring them home. My wife is pissed. She's like, there's Where no more room. Them? Yeah. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's the one argument we get because my wife wants me to throw away my books whenever we move. Mm. She's like ISIS. She wants to burn the past. <laughs> you know? And she hates Are books. Are you a rereader? Yeah, I reread books. Wow, that's yeah. crazy to me. Yeah. That I can't do. That's a new thing to me. Because like when I'm writing, because like I'm writing like my second novel now, and I want to know what good writing sounds like, so I keep reading the same three books over and over again. Which are? <clears throat> uh, I read Angels by Dennis Johnson. I read Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy. And I read this guy, Simon Jones, who's Welsh, and just has a beautiful way with poetry. I can hear everyone on their forklifts just... <laughs> Turning this off. Uh, right now. I was gonna say I, I was. I, I recognize was Cormac for, McCarthy. Yeah, I got yeah. one. I was yeah. hoping to know one of them. I was hoping to be like the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> oh yeah, Dan Jones, <laughs> DJ Dan Brown. Dan Brown. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Dan Brown. Also him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's cool too. <laughs> See, I'm big enough to admit when I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wish mm. I read. I do think. Uh, I wish I read. Everybody says that. Uh, <laughs> And when like I, it's something like it's, like, like it's Everest. Like I wish I did that. Like, yeah, yeah. We can we can knock it out without getting out of this room. <laughs> you could very easily do it. Yeah. yeah. But but when I do, it is a little bit time consuming because I don't read too good. Mm-hmm. So, like I I wish I sat down and read more like informational shit and like learn about the brain and society and right. nonfiction and you know like thought provoking shit as opposed to like just fun books. Yeah. But then when I'm sitting there doing it, I'm like. Eh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to know just how like treacherous the Homo sapiens are. Yeah, you know, yeah, I don't need yeah. to know how close we are to rape at every moment. You know? <laughs> like I don't. That doesn't make my life any better. But man, I think when you're, if you really are smart, you know, being smarter is, I think, better. Yeah. Well, I, I don't you know. know. I go back and forth. Being Sometimes dumber wish... rules. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I would love to be you know dumb what? as hell. No, it, it's ignorant. I wish I was ignorant. Oh yeah. That's the best because ignorance yeah. truly is bliss. You know. Exactly. I'm ignorant in a lot of ways, but not the ways I'm talking about. Just like the idea of like. I don't know. I'm just like I married that girl from high school, and I uh, I work like this job that's fine, and like that's just gonna be my life. It's all good, right? And they're as happy as a fucking pig and shit. And you it know? sounds condescending to say that, but like I really do, and also I value those people's friendships so much because they're so loyal. Yeah, you know what I mean. Right. Like when you do marry the girl you've known since 15, one of two people you've penetrated, <laughs> right? And you're able to ride that out and, and go you're, on, and you're happy. You're like, yeah, not you're totally like, happy. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. It's like, right. man, this is great, man. Yeah, I'm. It's... There's too much navel gazing involved in my day to day life. Too much like inquest, you know. Mm. And it's like, 
this sucks. Yeah, no, that's... I'm not getting better. <laughs> it's yeah. only it's getting worse. It's like I keep thinking I'm going to dig and find the bottom of it, but no, it's, it's just going. endless void <laughs> of just discontent and existential dread. There's nothing under there See, but your own grave. For you. <laughs> books are bad. Hey, let me say it to you <laughs> and you. You put that thing down. Start the bonfire. Let's start burning these things. If it's things. not the Bible or the Koran, you put it away, all right? What the Bible, what a crock of shit. That book, that book sucks, man. <laughs> yeah, number one seller of all time. Ecclesiastes is beautiful. Now, books, the, the Bible stinks flat out. Everything, it's all phony and fake and retelling the same stories. They sure. the good ones. It's all trash. I, I always tell a story. I went to Catholic school with a bunch of monks, and um, I had this monk, Brother Joseph, explained to us why there's a lot of books in the Bible that weren't. Didn't make the final cut. Got yeah. left on the cutting room floor. Uh-huh. And like, like, didn't work for the business uh, model. <laughs> yeah. I think we asked because we we're like, why isn't there anything about like Jesus's youth and teenage years and stuff like that? And he's like, oh, those books stink. And we were like, what do you mean? Like, like how how do we not know about him until he's like thirty three? Like, zero to thirty three. What, what yeah. happened? And he's like, well, let me tell you. And I, I I have done no research further than what this monk told me. Um, by the way, he was a married monk. So oh. I think he a married he, monk is no monk at he, all. He, yeah. was, he was a divorced monk, but he <laughs> oh, oh, worse. He, so I was like, I, he, like he became a monk after his marriage fell apart, and I was like, okay. oh, so like you just that's had nothing easy. else to fall back on. Yeah, like, like yeah. that's you. you, you fa- oh, you found God like after you fucked it all up. Whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah. You failed a business, then joined a big one. I'm gonna listen to your words. <laughs> yeah, and uh, fucking monk. And he was like, he's like, he's like, look, like it's just the shit in it isn't believable. He's like. There's one story, and again, I didn't, Brother Joseph told me this, aside from that, I never looked it up, I don't know if it's true or not, whatever. And he's like, there's one story where Jesus was a kid, and another kid stole one of his toys, and so he made the kid disappear. Why would you believe that? And I was like, well, why would I believe he cured blindness? Why would I believe that? <laughs> like, if I was a kid with those from powers, and someone stole my fucking toy, guess what? They're out of here. Right, yeah. yeah. That, like, yeah that's, that, the that's the most, most believable, believable Jesus part. Yeah. The Immaculate Conception, I'm still up in the air about. <laughs> but yeah, if someone ruined my Donatello figurine, <laughs> they'll never find them again. Peace. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. your parents will mourn you. <laughs> <laughs> if you screwed with my Ghostbusters back, I knew a kid, Jack Brennan, screwed with my Ghostbusters you backpack. See, you know his name to this day for Jackie a reason. B, <laughs> yeah. all right? Frankie and I are still cool. <laughs> but Jack, uh-uh, dude. I, yeah. I saw the uh, uh, Ghostbusters... Uh, firehouse toy Bro. the other day uh, at a store that looks much like our set right now. Mm-hmm. There's a store around the corner from me that has like old yeah, school. Yeah, a place for male widowers. <laughs> 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 it has all like uh, throwback, uh, you know, trinkets and toys and shit. Uh-huh. And it had that. And I was tempted to buy it. I think it was like in good condition. What was the price? Actually, I think it was like in the hundreds. Okay. Was, but, but then I went to like eBay and it, that's like, Kind of like appropriate. I was gonna say twelve hundred to start. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So maybe I, maybe it's a steal then. Um, but I was like, I don't know. I I'm trying to not be a hoarder. Yeah. Anymore and coming home with a fucking firehouse from <laughs> Ghostbusters is the definition of like. Yeah. But but that's, I want that. Like that's a cool one. You know. Of course. I'm still in the market. I might go back and get it. Yeah. I mean, it's just tough to come home with a toy to your wife. Mm, yeah. Be like, yeah. hi, it's me, the man you value sexually. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one guy you're committed to forever. <laughs> when I was play, seven. You be Winston or Egon? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Egon Spangler, no doubt. <laughs> you can be Winston Zedmore if you'd like. <laughs> I know you think of him as the black one, but no. <laughs> He's much more than that. <laughs> he actually is the most interesting Ghostbuster there is. <laughs> How did he get the Let job? <laughs> He's no scientist. <laughs> At a time when it was really tough for the market, too. I mean, it wasn't he, easy. He's a true pioneer. <laughs> yeah. They didn't oh, have affirmative man. action then. Yeah. In Ghostbusting? <laughs> He's the Jackie Robinson of Ghostbusting. He to be is, honest. yeah. The, the, the slurs that those ghosts used to throw at him. <laughs> you think I'm going to let one of you catch me? I don't think so, man. <laughs> Busting a bunch of like 1880s ghosts in New York. And they're like, oh, I already died and went to hell and escaped. <laughs> and now you're dragging me back? <laughs> this is why we Slimer. fought that war. Slimer dropping N bombs. Oh, oh my God, that would yeah. be hilarious. He was not Slima. <laughs> 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 you know Slimer slurred, dude. <laughs> uh, that was funny. That's just good old-fashioned fun, man. <laughs> uh, this is the same time, to go back to the Bible, this time of year is the year that I uh, freak out for about a month straight uh, because my kids are in Catholic school. Mm-hmm. And um, 
I hate the Catholic Church. <laughs> so riddle me that one, Batman. But yeah. um, did you grow up in a Catholic school? Uh, I, I my brother went to Catholic school. I didn't. My family's like you know regular Catholic. We're not freaks about it. But mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't get to make these decisions. So the kids are in yeah. Catholic school, you know. But they come home every day for like a month straight, talking about Easter. Mm-hmm. And uh, yes, uh, over the weekend, Keegan says to me, um, "King Herod was a bad guy." It's like King Herod, Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ, you're five, dude. Yeah. And he's like, he put the nails right through his hands. And Jesus took all the punishment for us. Uh, I was like, he's fucking five. Uh, no. Can we talk about the Easter Bunny? You better not let that kid have a laptop until he's 22. Uh, I know, Jesus He's going to be Googling some nasty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to want a VPN for his sixth birthday. <laughs> <laughs> if those are his concerns now, that's going to get sexualized in a weird way. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. God damn it. Like, how can you, how could somebody sit in front of a room of five-year-olds mm-hmm. and legitimately be like, King Herod condemned him to crucifixion. Yeah. That's he's fucking like, insane. How do you guys think he died? It's not the way you think. It's actually yeah. suffocation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that's a great one. No, no, see, most people think it was, uh, you know, him baking on the fucking, di- bleeding out on the cross. Yeah. No, no, no. It was asphyxiation. The sacred no. spirit, it did, it did its job. It did yeah. some work. Don't get me wrong. God. But, uh, the, the, you know, the spirit of the sacred side, whatever it is. And, like, but it's actually... He ran out of breath. Oh, yeah. It was slow. That, if in any other scenario, you found a an adult talking to a room full of children mm-hmm. and being like, and then, you know, like they massacred the fucking, you know, they're, they're talking about the Crusades or some shit or whatever, you know, you'd be like, you're fired. Like, it's so inappropriate. Get the fuck <laughs> yeah. out of here. But with Jesus, it's all good. Dude, yeah. we, I fuck was them. at a, uh, I went to church for the first time in a while recently. Um, I was a godfather. My, my godson was getting christened. And it was a full mass before. And I think it was a new priest in the area or whatever. And he's trying his best. And and I don't know what you can do. Like, I don't know what the marketing campaign is. <laughs> but he was like, all right. And now, you know, for our, our Sunday, let's bring all the kids up here. And, like, all these kids sit around. It's like it's like the kids' mass. It was like a 10 a.m. mass on Sunday. That sounds it like it sucks. And it was like the children. <laughs> and, like... It, it was like I was like I was sitting there. I was like I was like legitimately uncomfortable to be totally honest. And I was like, look, there are just some things where like you lost your right to do this. You can't. Yeah, yeah. Can, Priests can't be wrangling can't, up the kids. You can't yeah. do it anymore. Yeah. I know you. You. There's nothing. It's no testament to you. You were probably a nice guy, but the you kind of can't do this anymore. Yeah, yeah. And then it got even worse because he does the whole homily like it's to the children. I'm like, oh yeah, and by the way, you're patronizing me now. <laughs> like, 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 don't don't talk to me like I'm the four year old on his knees in front of you, which is literally not a joke. That's just what was happening. Oh, at yeah. the time. <laughs> That's fucking. You know the lies that you territory. would tell if you knew the payoff was you get to bang all the kids you want. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's not like these men are living truthful lives, you know. It's like, hey, I'll tell you whatever you want if I get all, you know. It's not me. You just, just keep bringing them in. It's man. just these men of God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's all. Because. But Christ, when he was young, was effectively like following the dead around like the Indian subcontinent, and he got all the way to like China and stuff, right? Oh, I know, I don't know anything about so there's it. All these, like, yeah. There's all these weird retellings of like what Christ was up to until he was 33, and it's like pretty much he was just like going from like parking lot to parking lot, like selling whippets in the day. <laughs> and, but the whippets were like his idea of like what yeah. it meant for like eternal like salvation. Yeah, he was just a crazy grifter. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the best one ever. Yeah, the, the <laughs> yeah, greatest yeah. to ever do it. Dude, I bought a fake watch off a guy from over there, you know? <laughs> I can't imagine if he was selling salvation. <laughs> Hell, yeah. I guess, I guess it's really uh, who, St. Peter though, who, who really sold the story. Right? Yeah, yeah. He, upon this rock, I build the church, and he's mm-hmm. the one who's like, you're all going to give me all the money. Yeah, we're like Jesus was chicks, Elvis. We're going to fuck all the kids. <laughs> Jesus was yeah. He was like that guy, Red. <laughs> the, the, guy the, the tricky yeah. German. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's yeah. what Tom Hanks played, That's right? right. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those tricky Germans. Yeah. In that time period, those Germans were <laughs> shifty fuckers. The trickiest German, though, actually Austrian. <laughs> the H man, <laughs> the yeah. trickiest of them all. Yeah, who hasn't been duped by a German? <laughs> the, the, uh, the funniest quote I ever heard about Hitler. We were doing the rundown uh, a few weeks ago when when um, Roald Dahl's books were getting yeah. censored, and uh, Dave was hot on that topic because he really loves all those books, James yeah. and the Giant Peach mm-hmm. and the like. And he was like, "This is bullshit." And then um, we were like, "You know, I don't think." 
uh, he was too keen on your on your people. Uh, I think he has, you know, he's spoken about the tribe in a very, you know, ill way, whatever, and had some ties to Hitler, and uh, he did, and and then needed to go back and kind of uh, like, you know, apologize for it. This is back this early cancel culture, I guess, with, yeah. with him. And he yeah, referred you can't, you to... You can't say anything anymore, especially <laughs> Hitler rules. <laughs> <laughs> they took it all away. He referred to Hitler as that stinker. <laughs> he was like, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of evil out there in this world who like blah, 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 especially that stinker Adolf Hitler. <laughs> that's like, yo, that's, that's like a pet name people call their significant other. Yeah, yeah. Little stinker. stinker. <laughs> yeah. Not, not about the, the most massive fucking mass murder of all time. <laughs> You're this rascal over in Germany? <laughs> <laughs> He's really no good, huh? <laughs> he is also like the greatest cool. brander of all time, though. I mean, he. Like if you want to give him credit for things, he, yeah, we don't have to. We don't have to, but yeah, he, he doesn't get to. enough credit for things. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> like they're making Which is a really movie. What it all comes down to is getting credit. That's they're what, yeah. you know, they're that, making a movie right now about fucking whatever his name is. Not it's not Phil Knight. It's the other guy, whoever Matt Damon's playing. And it's yeah, like, oh, yeah. yeah, you created a whole brand. It's like, you want to mm -hmm. talk about branding? Yeah. You, the, the, the the swastika is up there with the swoosh. Oh yeah. For like most iconic things. <laughs> You're right. I would We're say like, the swoosh is up there with the swastika. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man, he sold a lot more than six million shoes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just saying. Credit with credits too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's stoked to hear us making this positive comparison. <laughs> this Great is gonna, marketing, yeah, yeah. yeah this, this is, is going to climb its way up the PR chain. <laughs> we'll, we'll, have, we'll have Matt on the show next. So tell us about the movie and what do you think? How are the similarities to the Nazi the Third Reich? Tell me about that. <laughs> I've always said it. If the Hitler... swoosh in the swat. I think I'm hand in hand. <laughs> it was a coin toss, really, between the two. You know? We almost over that one. If Hitler could go back and and like it would come forward, I guess, and see that the iPhone doesn't autocorrect his name, I like to think he doesn't even get the capital H. He's like he's like you throw the tilde on Beyonce. I don't even get it. like yeah. an H. even Motorhead's built it. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, <laughs> dude! We speak, speaking of swastikas, we were talking about this last episode. Do that's you the know name of the episode? <laughs> speaking of swastikas, <laughs> that sounds yeah, like a whole yeah. series to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were talking about this the, is um, great. I don't know. He, he might know this story. Did, from 1905 to 1916, there was a hockey team in Windsor, Canada. Yeah. Because the called the Windsor Swastikas. Whoa! And, I mean, their their logo like, was like a straight fucking... up like they have like their team pictures where they're all like, and it was it was pre Hitler. Hitler didn't adopt it the, the swastika until 1920. And I I we were talking about just like being like like the Bobby Orr of the of the Windsor Swastikas. Yeah. And being like I gotta fucking take down everything. Yeah. All, all of it. Uh, yeah. like, the jerseys. When the, I was the, wearing the, this, it was cool. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> Trying to explain to your kids like their bell bottoms. Like, no, it was a different time. Like, it was a <laughs> you know how much pussy these mutton chops got me? <laughs> but it's swastikas. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, I do love those people. One, one, one of the best, um, hmm. like, uh, I learned this in college and think I'm smart now things. Yeah. Is the, like, you know the swastika used to be like the pagan symbol for love or whatever yeah. the fuck it is. It's Hindu, like, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hindu, whatever. It's like, yeah, yeah, we all know that one, dickhead. But it's not anymore. Also, it's not anymore. Anytime you're having that conversation, you've already lost. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, you shouldn't be digging deep to figure out, like, no, no, I can get out of this. Hold on, I know we're at this foam party and we're all wearing bubble wrap clothing, but <laughs> let me educate you right now, Cherries. <laughs> Did you see um, Kanye is back on the Jews? He watched Heck on the Jews or yeah. he's on steroids. <laughs> yeah, you know, he, he watched um uh Twenty One Jump Street this weekend. Yeah. And saw and, and, and liked Jonah Hill's performance. Uh huh. And so he's now back in on the Jewish people. And uh he said he should not let one or two people that he does not like represent a whole, you know, a whole group of people. Yeah. And that was because of Jonah Hill and Twenty One Jump Street. So. I can actually empathize completely with Kanye in this regard because when Super Bad came out. A lot of people said the thing, same thing about fat virgins. <laughs> <laughs> and as a fat virgin at that time, people saw Jonah Hill, and I'm like, no, maybe I will let him finger me. <laughs> so that yes. was one of the more <laughs> one of the more ridiculous things in movie history is that Jonah Hill bags Emma Stone. Hey man! In mm -hmm. the end, they go on that mall date, mm -hmm. right? Oh, you know, I don't know if I, I remember mm -hmm. that. At the very end, remember, he, he, he gives her the black eye. Yeah. Yes. And then they go to the mall, and she's like, you can buy me some makeup. Let's mm -hmm. go. 
and oh, then and then Michael Sarah Michael Sarah goes with that that drunk rapist girl Becca. Remember <laughs> yeah, her? Gotcha. Yeah. That, that was a looking back. That was like an uncomfortable <laughs> scene. Doesn't she say like something really aggressive? She's just like finger my pussy or something crazy like that. Like, Whoa. Yeah. Well, she's trying to fuck him, and he's uh -huh. like, uh. Yep. Uh, and then yeah, they both have their like cute little mall date in the most like coming of age moment. But I mean, Jonah, we love you, man. Yeah, Jonah, now. Well, he, sure. Jonah he, he turned his back on his people. He you lost all that, that late. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, he's, I, he's... Sometimes I do think that it's like you were one of us, and mm -hmm. now you're like, what a... are you? What are you fucking stealing no, valor no, no. for? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm speaking for <laughs> for the other. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, for is, wads. I, yeah. Stole, <laughs> stolen valor, Kevin. I am. Yeah. Kevin's on a plane to Tel Aviv right after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see here that hear about your swastika talk there. <laughs> <laughs> you got rid of the, the defense minister. Got him. <laughs> uh, I, I have stolen valor for fat people for sure because I yeah. do live my life like a fat person. Yeah. And I eat like a fat person and I am lucky that I'm not one but but there's just some things like me and, and uh my one of my co-hosts Clem who's a, a larger fella we had a series called snacking off where mm -hmm. we just kind of like when Oreo has a new flavor or whatever we test them out yeah and um because I'm like a junk food addict but like I just don't look the part and he's yeah. always like shut the fuck up you you know you don't get to speak on this I'm like mm -hmm. you're right it's like you know I can say it you can't say it sort of thing <laughs> that's right I, that's I, the Slimer I, I situation do, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I do get it I do totally understand mm -hmm. but um <laughs> but yeah but so when when somebody uh, leaves the fats no one's less happy for a former fat guy than a current fat guy less happy you're not like good for you man like, everyone else you. is like oh my god good for him and I'm like is he sick yeah. <laughs> you know? something with his blood <laughs> yeah I think I would be pretty spiteful if I was if I was in that boat too oh yeah do you consider yourself a fat guy I carry you're myself I'm a person of size I'm ample yeah yeah. Uh, ample, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're that. a big dude but yeah, I would, yeah. I would I never would call you fat. like a fat I, 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 the meat's not marbled the way people assume it is you know what I mean <laughs> um, but yeah no I'm not mm. I'm not like some Pudgeo the Oink master like I'm, I'm fine uh <laughs> Uh, it was funny during my wedding because, like, my wedding party was a bunch of the uh, the fattest men in Colorado, <laughs> and then my buddy Clay, who's six six, one hundred and twenty, and then uh, Chris Sharp really, Oh, he's exactly probably one forty. Wow. You know, he's this bean pole of a guy, bleach blonde it's hair. Crazy. Dick is chapped from all the scoos he's pounding. Um, sure. He plays bass in a bunch of punk bands. Oh. Yeah. It's like, hey, can we get Clay a coconut water? He's, he's visibly gaunt. <laughs> he's ashen somehow, even though he's vegan. <laughs> yeah, so it was just like, when I went in to get measured, and then Chris Sharpentier, who's like 5'6", you know? So it's mm. like, they were like, is everyone built like you? And I was like, no, we've got a real circus tent coming in here. <laughs> but when I got well, measured, you? I'm 6'4", six six yeah. 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 They call it an executive cut in the suit world. Oh, uh, yeah. So they're like, we're going to need four executive cuts, which is just like, you know, technically well, obese. Well, don't they say, and, so, yeah. and some vineyard vines buttoned down because exactly. they make them fucking <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, salmon shorts. Yeah. 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 I got to get on. You guys, you guys are East Coast guys. Yes. Yeah. So you guys are into that vineyard vines thing. Um, I was in high school, a little bit of college. Yeah. Um, got off it for a while. And I think... Uh, Prep's kind of coming back. Yeah, when I was yeah, growing yeah. up, I was pretending to be black, so I didn't really get mm -hmm. on that vibe too much. Yeah. So I'm not quite the Vineyard Vines okay. guy. But, it's but just, it, is, it totally you know, missed us out west. What's that? It missed us completely. Did it really? Yeah. yeah. I imagine it hit Aspen pretty good. Probably did, but we don't, <laughs> but we don't more... accept them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Those are all guys from Connecticut. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's like from Aspen, right? Uh, no, not at all, because you moved. I mean, there's people who are going to be upset by this, but you move there to be like a lifty, yeah. you know what I mean? And then you knock up some rich lady, right? and then your kids are just in Aspen. Dude, oh, I, I had you know? a buddy who lived in his truck in Aspen for like oh, three yeah. years. Uh -huh. like, awesome. He, he like, just like, like, lit, like, he, like, he built, he, uh, he had his own like handmade wooden ski making company, Yeah, and he like built the... Factory, not factory, but you know the workshop in his yeah. truck. But so like he like mobile lived, workshop. Yeah, it was like Sick. a flat. So he would just park at the mountain because he was a little well, uh -huh. and he would just like park at the mountain. But he would sleep in the back because he just built around it, like an actual yeah. Hell yeah. like. Belly. I mean, it's Graham. Yeah, yeah. And it was like I was like, that's just. He's like, yeah, I have no rent. I, 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 I am. But then so... he, then he crashed it once and just left it in the woods. Oh, yeah. Like I was <laughs> gonna say, the problem, yeah, you crash your car, you lose your livelihood. Yeah. <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Are you handy? Can you like 
You know your way around a workshop with a hammer and nail? No. No. Yeah. No. Just got a car hard on, baby. I got yeah. a car hard over there, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just let everyone know that I had $40 at yeah. one point. <laughs> yeah. I, got, I, I got a toolbox that's just filled with cords. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, we were talking I, about that the other day. Uh -huh. or not we, but and most of them were like charge a Tamagotchi, you know? Like, <laughs> they're totally worthless in this day and age. I, I, I don't even know if I would do it if I could, like if I would renovate my own home or create my own things, but... Knowing how to do it, I think is pretty cool. I mean, most of the money that I spend now around the house is just paying like a tougher man to come do in yeah. and yeah. cuck me in front of my wife. Yes, <laughs> but know? I also I I love like I I said uh, my goal in life is to make enough money to pay people to know how to who know how to do those things. And you know, I what? think there's some honor in that. And also, I don't have that like strange, like residual masculinity attached to it. No, like I have friends who are very good at cars, and I think that's neat. I just don't have that expertise. How about uh, I don't have it. And I don't have, have like that. I don't think I'm less of a man until it's happening right in front of me. Sure, yeah. Because then I feel like oh, yeah. so you in can the absorb moment. the skill if you see it. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I'm not like one of those guys who's gonna like pretend to know what he's talking about and right, like help. Right. And, like, but I'll be sitting there like, God, I wish I, I do feel I do feel lesser than as yeah. a non-reader. Yeah, I would like because I don't I don't have the other end of the spectrum either. Right, I just <laughs> exist. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like like if you're not a tough guy but you're a smart guy, yeah. if you're not the smart guy but you're the 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 athletic guy, if you're not the athletic guy but you're the hot guy, when you're none of those things, you're just like. Mm. Well, I've been trapped in this weird, like, bizarro realm my entire life where I was, like, an all-state athlete, you know, total football jock, wrestling jock all throughout high school. But also, like, I would not want to fucking wrestle Sam. Oh, Holy shit. Oh, you did. problem. <laughs> no, no. I was always – I would play football at, like, 325 and then have to cut down to 275 within, like, two months. Oh, shit. So, like, the first, like – Two months or first six weeks of wrestling season, I was just like emaciated, <laughs> eating like what, you, egg whites you, you and orange. Can't wrestle at that size you, in Too in big? Colorado. The cutoff for heavyweight was two seventy five. Huh? Yeah. Fuck I think, that. I that's got to be that's incredibly that's discriminatory. Like a seventeen year old to be oh yeah cutting fifty pounds, pounds in a month. In a yes. <laughs> yeah, my already be labored heart, and then I got to just like be on the bike <laughs> wearing doing, trash uh, bags. Trash bags. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Spitting, oh. chewing, spitting, not swallowing. <laughs> Oh man, so much cherry skull went through my mouth. Cherry. Oh yeah, dude, dude. I I caught a whiff the other day, and I, it's not it's not even think it's in production anymore. A vanilla skull. Yes. And I was yes. like, I'm gonna go kill myself right now. This is the <laughs> worst smell. I don't know what it was. Don't, oh, to this I day, I don't know it. what it was. But you I was like, like, Ooh, I was like is, I that, loved that. is that vanilla skull? What the fuck? Did you, you ever, like vanilla? Did you ever do the thing where you get a cherry, you get the uh, you get the together. apple, and you get the vanilla, yeah. and you mix them all oh, up? Oh, I didn't do that. We did we did bapple. Uh, which was berry and apple, obviously. Yeah. But you're uh, talking about you mix them yourself or you bought the flavor? No, mix them yourself. Mix them yourself. The flavor yeah. doesn't exist. Yeah. I didn't know you animals Dude, did this. I also oh, invented, yeah. um, and me, I mean my hockey team, invented uh, pouches. We would go, because we went to like a boarding school, we had like a dining hall. Yeah. So before we had hockey trips, we would go, because you had to like, you know, we couldn't dip. So we had to ditch them quick on the bus of like the coaches to come back to piss or something like that. Yeah. So we would go, and some of us had braces so they get all messy and shit like that. So we'd go to the dining hall and we'd get tea bags. Yes. And we'd empty out the tea bags. You did them too? Oh, yeah. All right, dude. so we didn't invent yeah. them. Um, well, it was neither just... of us invented them. Yeah, yeah. You hear that? Mid century Swedish mariners? <laughs> <laughs> Still you guys, all right? <laughs> we were like, we're like, we'll keep them in pouches and we would just dump all the tea out, fill yeah. them in there. Which I still maintain to this day is the better way because pouches are too small. Yeah. And, and that's also my, my issue with Zin, which is somewhere around here. You got a Zin on you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Zin is Zin's blowing up, man. Dude. Every time you bring up Zin, other guys who dip are like, oh, Zin. Zin Bro, Zin, 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 I was Zin, hoping Zin. the F man was going to have a Zin. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, brother. Did you see the, have you, like, the newer ones with the childproof lock on it? No. That, I mean, is that this one? Because I'm currently yeah, having yeah. You an issue. Put the, Don't you gotta, worry, you're not alone. You've got to line up the arrows, and they're, yeah. like, impossible yeah, he, to he, fucking he, line up. He's That's another thing. Everybody who does it, Thank uh, you. Uh, like, I don't, the fucking, the, 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 child, the child lock, I can't do it. Yeah. I also don't know why I'm a, a citrus Zin guy, because I was I was a mint skull guy. Um, and for some, I, know, I didn't dislike citrus skull, but I, for some reason, citrus Zin is definitely my favorite one. I used to smoke cigs like in high school and stuff on and off, you know, mostly to impress girls and like fit in it, like the weird DIY punk rock shows I'd go to. And cigarettes my, are definitely cool. They're very cool. Like, let's be honest. I know, cool. but they knew that I would smoke because my town was like a thousand people. So they put me in my first class every day in high school was with a coach, like one of his classes, because mm -hmm. my leather, my letter jacket, I wore it every day, of course. Sure. And it just reeked like, you know, cum, cigarettes, <laughs> just the fear of adolescence, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I had to start chewing. And I remember I had to give a speech for student council my junior year, and I was in the bathroom about to pack one. 
and I fucking sneezed into the can. No. And it got in my eyebrows, it got in my hair, it got in my eyes. So I went up there just like covered in shaw, like crying because it was in my eyes, dude. It was That's brutal. Hilarious. Yeah. That's yeah. a scene out of a fucking movie. Yeah, there was a bigger boy named Jason Joyner, a senior. I was a junior, and he came in and he saw me and he's like, oh, big dog, we got to help you out. He's like rubbing shit off my face. It was brutal, dude. That was we the, uh, I, did, I did that with uh, the first time I ever did coke. I was at Fordham. Oh, yeah. I sneezed and just blew. No. Like I'd never done it before. I was probably a sophomore in college visiting friends at Fordham, and we were going to a uh, everybody hated you an MGMT <laughs> party where I uh, there I, I had a bad drug night that night. There I bought a Molly, which just turned out to be a sugar pill, um, and it was like I did a line, and it was like. It was my first ever. And I was like, uh, 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 and he just oh, went yeah. all off the mirror. Damn, <laughs> dude. It was a girl's, too. Ugh. Girls never buy cocaine. No. <laughs> well, you know what? Like, consider it, you know, payback. Yeah. 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 You guys have been doing free coke your whole life. Uh -huh. I didn't even pay for this. You could deal with it. Oh, find another guy who'll Fordham. give you some right now. Fordham. The first time I ever came to New York City, uh, it was the New Year's Eve of 2005. And I arrived, and my buddy Clay, who had the tall, come, cumless man, <laughs> he uh, he was going to Ithaca College, and he met me here, and we I took the train immediately down to uh, Times Square on New Year's Eve, and I had my backpack on, and I was it was really bad. So we were there for like a half an hour, and then Clay was like, Times hey, Square? I know a, yeah, Times yeah. Square on New Year's Eve. Like ball what, drop what type situation. I didn't know any better. You just thought it was cool. I'm a babe from the woods. I yeah. say, if you're going to go to New York, <laughs> see it at its prime, yeah. you know? Ooh. Yeah, it's like going People to Japan diapers, during yeah. cherry blossom season, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm, this is right. This is correct. And Clay, you know, he just liked to see me interact with the world. <laughs> I was his mule friend. Uh, so we were there for a half hour. It sucks. So we knew a kid that went to Fordham. So we went over there. And he took us to this like weird cop bar where they let us drink. But, Jolly like, Tinker. Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm assuming, yeah. Okay. But we were in there and we were drinking. I was fresh faced, 18 year old, you know. Uh, Clay's pubeless, I assume, at this point. <laughs> and so like we're drinking in there. And then right around two o'clock, like I bumped a guy and he's like, Are You guys underage? And I was like, Yeah. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you guys are police. <laughs> yeah, you know we're underage. Yeah. Like trying to like cut it up with him. And he was like, You better get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna beat you up. And I was like, I'm a child. <laughs> that was my defense. I was like, please do. I think I'll have a case. You know? And, and he like looked around. And he's like, who are going to be your witnesses? And I was like, I don't know. All the other sworn protectors. I hope the fellas would have my back. You know? I was like, I was bulletproof. I was 18, dumb as hell, first day in the city. And then we went. <laughs> yeah, these men who swore an oath. I don't know. Hopefully Serving them. Protected. Yeah, they wouldn't have. You no, know, <laughs> of course. He could have fucking put my teeth on the jaw. But uh, uh, but anyway, I went to Fordham, and we couldn't get into the kid's house, so we had to sleep behind an army recruitment station in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. and then we woke up in the morning, New Year's Day of 2006, and me and him were both like, "We can never come back here. <laughs> we have to flee back to Ithaca." Dude, there, I, I went to Fordham. There was like, you know, the campus is fine. The very like close outskirts are fine, and yeah. then you are pretty much like right in you know in the hood. It is yeah. no bueno, mm -mm. and it's one of those things where it's like we're not fucking around either. Like you think maybe the school's being like you know uh, soft about it or over over cautious or protective. It's like no no no, you will get hit with a lead pipe and fucking you know robbed. It's like Temple in Philly. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's like no. I like, it's a lot of schools. I think Worcester. Is not a great area that P has a lot PC's of schools. PC is not in the best area, but they don't have security like Fordham has. Fordham is that has Providence Fordham College. College. Yeah, oh, cool. Um, the uh, Fordham, I, I went. Fordham had the double. They had the, the hood, and then they have the religious shit where it's like you can't have girls in your room and shit. So you have to like wow. smuggle them in. But they, I, I, I was there. I went. I went to Fordham a bunch of times. One of my good friends went there, and this was a separate occasion. But like, I we like we got lost. We got separated somehow through the night. Mm -hmm. She went home. I went home. Was whatever, whatever, and. I was trying to get back into campus at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., whatever time it was. And they were like, where's your student ID? I was like, I don't go here. Like, I'm staying with someone here. Like, you can't get in. Yeah, it's like, no joke. I was like, I appreciate it, but, but like, come on. Come, come on. Like, come on. Turn me away. <laughs> like, like th this blood's on your hands, like, sir. Like, yeah. you, like, like, at orientation, there must have been some fail safe for yeah, it. Yeah, for <laughs> if, this situation. If, yeah. like, someone comes up being like, hey, I'm staying here. Yeah. And he's like, I don't know what to do for you, man. Like, you can't come in. And so I went to the White Castle across the street, and oh, I was just yeah. sitting there. And luckily, she eventually got back to me, and I got to go back to the dorm. But yeah. it was like, I was like, am I just going to go sleep behind the so, Veterans Association, wherever you were? Yeah. So White Castle, uh, it had the bulletproof glass and everything. It was the most emasculating yeah. moment of my life. I was there, 
and um, like the locals would go and the the students would go, and that was like a place where it never went well. And I was waiting and, for my food, and uh, these guys just threw a full soda at me. <laughs> 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 Fucking splashed on me and the table I was waiting at. And I was just like, thank you. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, I mean, I've never felt worse. Like, yeah. I was just like, they will kill me. Mm-hmm. And I, whatever they decide to do next, I have to take it. And they <laughs> yeah. were just content with throwing the fucking large soda at me. So that was good. They were attempt- They were content with changing how I live my life forever. forever. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like yeah. you talk about that power you had in your hands yeah. earlier. Like, that, that, <laughs> some variant of me, you know, went off. There's another, there's another world where I tried to do that, like, tried to fight him and I died. Yeah, there's yeah. Some other variant where I tried. To fight him, and I somehow won the fight, and I became fucking president of the world. Or now you're in that. prison for a hate crime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One or the other. Yeah. But instead, it's this one now where I'm just a timid pussy who, uh-huh. who like we said earlier, we can't even speak up about any oh, of my yeah. own feelings. I had a moment like that. Uh, I was uh, at a movie theater in Parker, Colorado, and I was with uh, two girls, and there was uh, my friend Bubba Haas and Evan Giblets were there, and uh, somehow there was a, a rabbit that had been lamed, like some like someone hit this rabbit with its ca- with a car or whatever. And I hang like, on, I'm sorry, I I I zoned out for a second. I was just looking at the diapers, and yeah. I I came back in with Bubba Hots and Tony Giblets, yeah, and a, and lame, a lame rabbit. Rabbit. Where are we? That, that's where, where we are. We're at a movie theater in Colorado. You were at a movie <laughs> theater. <laughs> Everything. I knew. I was like, I was like, yeah. it doesn't. Like, you must be mishearing things. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, mean, I grew up on the eastern plains of Colorado, <laughs> where people are named Bubba Hoss and Evan Giblets. On ironic, <laughs> like you know, like I remember Bubba went to his first day of school, <laughs> and his name was Michael Hoss, and they put his name out on the desk, and he didn't know that his name was Michael. <laughs> He was like, "Where's my seat?" And they were like, uh, "You're over here, right?" And he's like, "Well, that doesn't say Bubba, does Get it?" The fuck yeah, out yeah. of here! So these are the kind of people, good, hardworking, good men. You yeah. Know? But anyway, this this rabbit was injured, and uh, I was moved to tears. So it struggle. And I'm 16 when you're not allowed to cry in front of anyone, especially yeah. girls and other offensive linemen. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm like trying to fight tears, and uh, Giblets is like, "Do something about it if you're so moved by it," you know, like making fun of me. And I'm like, "I can't." And Giblets just went up to it and snapped its neck. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Way yeah. Way and guess who got yet. laid? <laughs> <laughs> guess who got it in before 17? <laughs> Evan Giblets. <laughs> yeah. That's 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 Dude. dropping the panties in Colorado. I mean, oh, it, you see it, the way that man it, snapped that lamed rabbit's <laughs> neck. Well, I can't wait to suck his dick. I think it was more. Did you see how Sam cried? <laughs> <laughs> did you see how student council president Sam Talent wept in front of us <laughs> on his way to see old school for the fourth time? <laughs> Yeah, it was a bad look, dude. That's fucking great. Yeah. We'll do something about it, dude. Yeah. It's like, that's the last thing I want to do, giblets. God. Someone was, who was, I forget, someone was telling a story, it might have been at Ari's show Friday night, someone was telling a story about how, like, oh, wait, it might have been The Sopranos. I was, I've been watching a lot of things recently. Yeah. And, um, by the way, I'm, I'm watching Sopranos, I've never seen it before. I'm now three seasons deep. I think I've seen The Sopranos. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm yet to see a scene. Where I'm like, whoa, oh, I didn't know I about that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah, I've seen yeah, The Sopranos. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the, they're explaining how like they wish they were man enough to do one or the other. Kind of like what we were talking about earlier. Where it's like someone, there was a cat that had been mauled in his, in his backyard. And he's like, you I wanted to help it. Help it or kill it. But I couldn't it. help it. And I wanted yeah. to kill it, but I couldn't kill it. Mm-hmm. So, like, so what happened? It's like. It just died miserably. Yeah. <laughs> like, it had a slow and awful yeah. crucifixion type death. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, brother John or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what I would be. I'd be like, I, I can't. I, I'm sorry, dude. I can't kill you. I can't hit you with a shovel. And I don't know how to fix you. So I, I, I know a girl the next few who, hours are going to be rough. Yeah, I know a girl of who my stumbled. cowardice and weakness. <laughs> right. yeah. I think it was a rabbit as well. I know a girl who, like stumbled upon it, like on a hike, found a hurt. I think rabbit or squirrel, something small, and she's like one of the nicest people like I've ever known. She's like, I smashed it with a rock. Yeah, because it was like that just is suffering. a decent thing to do. And I was like, oh my fucking god, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you smashed it with a rock. She's like, she was like, oh, it ruined my life. Like I yeah. think about it every single day. I wake uh-huh. up and I think about the rabbit that I this killed with the rock. Crunch. Like it is, it yeah, like like so I've I've like hit above the head. <laughs> I've hit already dead roadkill, and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, my yeah. god, that was yeah. awful. What the fuck? Right. And it was already dead. I, I didn't you're do killing, anything. Killing Bambi or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. uh, yeah, just I'm, feeling I'm, the entire smack, the dead porcupine. It's so <laughs> gnarly. In May, coming up, uh, we have this series at Barcelona called Barcelona Outdoors um, with a woman named Sydney Wells. And she's she's a huntress. She yeah. she hunts and she does that. She she kills everything. Yeah. And um, she's like fucking 
whatever the character is in Peppermint. Who's the, the movie Peppermint? I don't even know. Oh, it's it's it maybe Hillary Swank. It's someone like that. Um, but the uh, she does like she where she takes. It's called Out of Office is the segment where she takes non hunters around, which is everybody but Sydney. Yeah, and she takes them out hunting, and I'm doing it in May. Oh yeah, and she's like, "Are you against anything? Like, is there anything you won't do?" And oh, how badly I wanted to say, I just fish. Like, <laughs> yeah, and I don't even do. This. I don't even do that. I don't want to kill any of anything. I and I, but my I guess little masculinity brain was like, so you'll do anything. So I was like, I'll do whatever. Yeah. And she's like, all right, I'm planning something. Like, I don't know what we're doing. We're doing it in Montana. So I, I don't think fishing's on the docket. Just be very loud the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. There was no, it was no good game out there. <laughs> yeah. Because like, uh-huh. you were screaming at the top of your yeah, lungs yeah. the whole time, John. <laughs> yeah, you filled your cargo shorts with keys and glass. <laughs> <laughs> You've been to Montana before? I have not. Dude. I feel you either know or you don't. No, well, I mean, like, I've done like a lot of skiing, and like I yeah. just forget yeah. where I am. Gorgeous. I don't, I don't think I gotta. Been... I gotta take my dad to Yellowstone. My dad Dude. really wants to go. Yes, I, I can take him on a good trip now. But I also am like, I don't. I don't want to do outdoorsy stuff. Yeah, but that's kind of the whole point, right? Yeah, but like, can I go, go to... somewhere where like that's on the table, but also we could just like chill at a cool fucking spot Bro, and like you eat, go to Billings or Bozeman you can stay in like a hotel in a nice little city and yeah. then walk five blocks to the river and, and totally put your body in the river and float across it there's like salmon running and everything okay yeah so like you don't really have to be removed from the trappings of society at all okay cool. yeah and you can still feel like I'm in the middle of God's country yeah because yeah. to me like you know seeing a river with a fish in it i'm mm-hmm. like we are in the wilderness yeah, you know? yeah. i don't need much for me to be like wowed by nature because Dude, I'm you're gonna fucking... have shit your fucking pants yeah. when you see yellowstone dog yeah i was actually thinking about maybe uh doing that but i kind of want to go and like not do for, for work you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah but i was also thinking if there's ever a time to like probably do some of the coolest and best shit it's like on the company dime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, maybe my... take the free hunting trip to Montana. No, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not into hunting, and I don't think I could just do it for like... Have you shot guns and stuff? I went to a gun range once, and yeah. I, I did not... I don't think I've ever shot. I did not get like a rush. I did not enjoy it. Mm-hmm. I don't... That, I don't. That masculine side of me does not... I don't have that. Yeah. Like, I, I was, I was doing it, and I was like, mm-hmm. uh... Can we go to a bar? I was. It was a, a bachelor party, mm-hmm. and one of the things we did was just uh, uh, South Carolina gun range and mm-hmm. i was like mm, this did not do it for me yeah which is funny because i like, growing up i loved like action movies and you're playing guns and you're like you know but then when i got the chance to do the real thing i was like nah i don't care about this. yeah when you're holding the device that can end a life yeah, it's it a little weird. different yeah. than also uh, you know, i've done i've done there's no you know it was a, just a crew of people we don't know and they, and they all could have just turned around and sure sure and yeah i was kind of thinking that the whole time and i was like this is not enjoyable for me at all i'm gonna leave yeah I've done I've I've done guns twice. One one was a BB, so it doesn't count. I've done but guns. I've done that. And I've done sporting clays where we played like oh that was the funniest fourteen holes or whatever. We, yeah. we didn't do the full experience, but we were there for a lot. So I've, I let's say I've shot a gun fifty times in my life. I've never hit anything. No, so no, I the, think the video. I, think I don't even know if I safe. could like, pull it up quickly. The video of you n- not hitting any of the discs is so funny. <laughs> You're just like pull. <laughs> it, no, I I, I, I can like, find it no, every time. <laughs> Missing in time. <laughs> yeah. so I think good. the tweet was "bad day to be a clay." <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> so wait, you're, you're from mm-hmm. you're from Colorado, Colorado mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You guys say Rado? Colorado, Colorado. Mm-hmm. Uh, so are you like outdoorsy and all that shit? Mountain I mean, climbing, I dude. I camping, yada yada, or no? I, camping sucks. Because sleeping on the ground is a nightmare, and we've fought wars to never have to do that again. Yeah, you know. But yeah, like I like the idea. I like going out. Um, I live in Fort Collins, Colorado now, so I ride my bike all the time and like get in the river, go to Horse Tooth Reservoir. I like that kind of stuff. But I also like knowing that uh, my house is twenty minutes away. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. yeah. I do but like we shot that guns a lot growing are... up and stuff. That's yeah. fun. Yeah, like a shotgun like when, when in the woods. When people are like, you know, what would like these other generations say about like? It's like they would say. I'm gonna sit on the couch and watch Netflix. Right, that yeah. shit is awesome compared yeah. to what I had to fucking do. Uh-huh. Like, you guys They'd are doing it for fun. Yeah, yeah. 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 say all this work we did was not wasted. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right, uh-huh. right, right. Um, yeah. We lived it to be 45 for a reason, you know. <laughs> and so you guys could have Peacock as well. <laughs> you can have a streaming service you've never opened, but yet you pay 13 dollars for. It. <laughs> yeah, 13 dollars. <laughs> That's the equivalent of like you know, 150 dollars. You them. could like live for a year on that back in the day. Yeah. What What's one if you could have one 
manly talent, whatever you want to call it, ability that you don't have now. Like, for instance, like you could fix a car yeah. or you could fight or you could build carpentry or, mm-hmm. you know, any of those. What, what do you think it would be? I would really like the ability to um, be completely sustainable as far as having, and I don't know if this is traditionally masculine, but having my own garden, living off of everything that I grow. Mm -hmm. I would like the idea of, like, if I'm going to eat meat, having killed it, having cleaned it myself. But, God, that part's the worst. Oh, yeah. I think even worse than killing it is the skinning and cooking. I'll never do this. Yeah. 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 But it's like, even if I had... The I like talent, books. I don't think I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ever seen anyone clean a deer? No. It's disgusting. They yeah. hang it up. They Drain gut it. it everything oh, falls shit. out. There's Ooh. just a fucking deluge of blood everywhere. <laughs> it smells like shit. If How? God forbid they nick the intestine, because oh, then the it. whole deer is just Exploding. ruined. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I um I I tried to Google this the other day, and maybe a learned man such as yourself knows this. Why, who, and why, and how did humans? Think to cook. Ooh. Like, why, who, why, who was the first guy to be like, if we put this over fire, then we can eat it? That's I, a weird. That's a weird assumption to make. I'm guessing know? someone so didn't think caught to cook. On fire. And but, okay, so that's they what came, I thought too. They so came, you eat some raw meat, and you're like fucking dead, right? Yeah. But then the next guy, someone being came like, and it was Jamestown, and they were like, I bet they didn't cook that. <laughs> Let's. But see. that's what I mean. Like, okay, mm. I think that's probably where, where it started too. Is like, well, we can't do that again because we all died. Yeah. <laughs> but like, why would they be like? You know what? I bet fixes that. Fire. I that's think that, fucking weird. I think it's the Sapiens book that everyone claims to have read. Yeah, yeah they yeah, spotted yeah. at a uh, at an airport bookstore. Yeah. You know, yeah, left like, it on their shelf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think in that book, or a different book, uh, they said that the leading hypothesis is is that there was some kind of like a lightning strike, and then something died in that lightning strike. And whatever of our early ancestors happened upon this lightning strike, like the next day, mm-hmm. found a bunch of like dead animals, and them not knowing that that it was even cooked or that you couldn't eat like old game, they ate it. And they were like, well, this tastes this great. good. Yeah. You know what My I mean? body wants more of this. Yeah. And then also it helps your body be able to digest it and absorb the nutrients yeah. better. So I think that those people who were eating cooked food, whether it was just a random happenstance or there was some kind of plan in mind, were the uh, people who became Sting- stronger and yeah, faster. Yeah. Right. And that became the dominant lineage. You know, but lightning is an interesting like because I was wondering how you happen upon it, but I guess lightning. Would well, be like it. fire itself is a totally novel. It changed everything. Yeah, that changed. The, that, that was a game changer. Are we all stoned <laughs> in sixth grade? <laughs> 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 what happened? This basement took me back. We're, we're literally now with the couches. We're now literally that meme with like the three children sitting around. <laughs> <laughs> That's podcasting, man. Yeah. Podcasting, you're saying dumb shit into a microphone. It's just mm-hmm. having revelations, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then being like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's probably what happened, man. It had to be random. What do you, you got running the light coming out? Is a, mm-hmm. is a, it's a movie in the works, yeah. Movie in the works. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah that, that's I, been a, just a joy to be a part of. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you ever had a book option, but boy, do they let you have so much control over the final project. <laughs> yeah. So this is the the book that you we mentioned last time, mm-hmm. like, uh, that the comedy world like loves it, right? Yeah, I'm all very the comics grateful. are like, this is the most accurate portrayal yeah. of the comedy lifestyle. That's what everyone's saying. <laughs> and, I would uh, never deign to be so ostentatious. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's darker than you imagine, though, right? It's, inc- yeah. it's incredibly bleak, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's but you know that's the accurate part, right? Is that the lifestyle is more bleak than you would expect. Well, there's the comedy that everyone knows about where it's like Jeff Dunham and Bill Burr, mm-hmm. and then there's the other 99 percent of the iceberg you don't see, totally. which is people like driving eight hours for four hundred dollars and no hotel and that's the kind of world that like growing up in the mountain region and doing those early shows into wyoming the dakotas you know reservations in new mexico like we did all those shows early because you know it paid 200 bucks yeah (laughs) oh hell yeah well that's so in new york sometimes i I hear people go up for like twenty dollars and is that just because the clubs are like we pay the rent we give you the, the the forum and that's our part. And like anything know, extra. Because sometimes to me, I'm like, God bless you guys who do it. Because I love comedy and I'm so happy that very talented, funny people stick with it. Mm-hmm. Never in a million fucking years, even if it was my favorite thing, 
would I be like, I waited around and stayed up till like midnight to go up on stage for like $15. It's fucking insane to me. I think it's a trite take on my behalf, but like I think that it's the same thing as like a lot of people don't understand like why you would uh, sell your holes for heroin money. <laughs> You're addicted to it and it gives you joy I get, yeah. in this yeah. like empty experience that a lot sure. of people have. Uh, okay. So that when you find the thing that bit. you like, <laughs> yeah, when you find the thing that you like, of course you'll drive to Long Island City or, mm -hmm. you know, do two shows in Providence on Thursday like I did. Yeah. <laughs> you know? uh, which were good shows. I'm just kidding. But the second show, a little handsy. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. A little. <laughs> <laughs> Hands out of your pockets, everybody. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I just think that, like, it's it, it, you'll do anything you can to, like, do the thing that gives you worth and puts meaning into life. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's why people do those shows. And that's why I drove to, you know, Ravens Falls, Minnesota, 16 hours from Denver for $300 to perform in front of a bunch of snowmobiles. Yeah. You, know, like you do things because it's exciting as well, and every everything is like an adventure. But yeah, after a while, it's the people who stick it out past the point of like 10 years, and they it's don't really have anything going on. Yeah. Those are the people who should be incarcerated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I always thought that about like minor league baseball players too. Like Bingo. These guys or bull are, riders. Yeah, it's mm. like, bro, it is not going to happen. Yeah. And, you know, you're letting everything out, all the other things you could be doing, mm -hmm. having a family do, do pursue some other things, like whatever, all to like. There's a know. lot of suspending the obvious and not living inside of reality when mm -hmm. you start comedy and yeah. being like, this is going to work out. I am funny. You know, like people do like when I'm around. Uh, I'm not just a fall down drunk, you know, like there's a lot of things that <laughs> you have to lie to yourself about. Yeah. And it's when that gets to the 10, 12 year mark and you're, you're still lying yeah. and you have to look in the mirror. But the baseball analogy is weird because that's something that you did dominate at as a child. Yeah. Like you were like probably you the best in your town. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And then you have to admit to yourself like it's not paying off. Yeah. Comedy is the other way where you when you start, you're the worst person ever to do it. And then hopefully you slowly, slowly climb over a yeah. period of years. But at least like, 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 like for the baseball thing, like you were every comedian I imagine is at least the was funniest, the funniest of their group friends. in their group. Yeah, I whatever. don't know, dude. No, you met some of these comics. <laughs> <laughs> these are Honestly, people. yeah. Sometimes I'm like Jesus. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I have no skill with this at all. But I'm like I could I could have got up there and made some like hacky relatable jokes about pop culture, and I think sure. it would have gone better than that set. Yeah, yeah. And you're like a professional, you know. Well, you guys are funny people, though. You know what I mean? Like there are yeah. funny people for sure, and you just happen to go into podcasting, right? And that's totally valid. But the people who see comedy as math. Those are the ones I don't want to leave alone with any children. Yeah. You know? yeah. When they're just like slowly like rocking, you know? Right, right. And they're like, oh, yes, Surge is Mountain Dew. And they have like you know, the, the beautiful mind thing, you know? What if it was unmellow yellow? Yes, yeah. yes. You know? Right. Right. So, yeah, uh, those people are the ones where it's like, you were never funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, you, yeah. you, you kind of cracked the code on how to write a joke and maybe sure. deliver it the right way, but you're not. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, I, I think podcasting actually exposed a lot of that. Because oh, when sure. you only could see comics on stage, you're like, man, that guy killed. Those jokes yeah. were really funny. The audience was loving it. And then you don't realize that, like, 99% of that audience is probably a more relatable, talkative, you know, charismatic person. Oh, yeah. And when you hear that on a radio, like, when you hear it on a podcast, it's like, oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. You Podcasting know? and stand-up are completely different skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and to be good at both of them is very rare, you I, know? I, like I Shane. That. Shane. I love Shane. Yeah. He's... He's so good at both. Right. And everyone's so happy about it. <laughs> you know? No everyone one begrudges that at all. Yeah. Yeah. No, nobody is jealous or oh, bitter good. at all. You're very funny and you're easy to talk to? Good. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Shane. <laughs> we have had that with a lot of comics that we had on, like, the first time. And it was like, oh, that didn't go great. Yeah. And then they had a podcast, something like that. And then like they come back in, you're like, it's, oh, okay. You can like, learn how to do it. It uh -huh. is. Get yeah, better at it. Yeah. You can, you know, you don't think you are just like talking. And you realize like, no, you didn't learn how to fill dead air right. and, you know, not step on each yes, other. Yes, ending, simple first day improv stuff. Yeah. 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 Listening. Right. Not just waiting to get your shit in like totally. a backyard wrestler, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 No, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, I uh, Bert and Tom did like a live podcast the other day. And I, and I think at that. I heard, uh, or maybe it was a wrap, up, like a recap episode of his podcast. He was saying, like, live podcast is fucking hard. Oh, yeah, it's not and fun. And I was like, to hear a very successful comedian say that, because I'm always, like, very clear to be like, we go to comedy clubs and theaters and shit. We don't do comedy. We do mm -hmm. podcasts. Yeah. Two very different things. And the people who buy those tickets know that, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I also, but then, I, you know, after doing it several times, I kind of had the revelation of, like, you guys go up there, uh, 
knowing exactly what you're going to say, when you're going to say it, how you're going to say it, where to pause, mm -hmm. where to breathe, where to laugh. And trying and where, to act where, like you're making it up the entire time. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you know that like this part's going to kill. They're going to laugh at this part. That's what you think. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, when you bomb, you bomb. <laughs> yeah. But to go up there, yes, you know, you do. If, you, if, you, <laughs> if you just said, like, <laughs> go up there every night with no material, like, mm -hmm. and just freestyle it, yeah. that's kind of what we do. And I'm like, I don't know, the, the podcast might be kind of, we might talk about monks for a fucking 10 minute period. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I hope you laugh. Oh, yeah. that's funny. Oh, for sure. You know, and then if not, we'll just start talking about our dicks again. And then like, right. Go back to Old Faithful, mm -hmm. Godzilla versus King Kong. And yeah. whatever the fuck. <laughs> but it is a different different art form, for sure. When I, we came out of pandemic, like I filmed my special, uh, Waiting for Death to Claim Us, Amazon Prime for free. Uh, and we were filmed the last day of like March 13th, like that last Saturday. Mm -hmm. So I put that out during uh, pandemic, and then I had like no material when I came back because I didn't right. want to do the old stuff. So like the first like year back in the stand up, I was just trying to improvise, 45 minute hour sets every Jesus night. Jesus Christ! I know, and it was exciting and it was cool. But then I remember like the first time I finally had 20 minutes that I could close on after that, and I was like, Oh my god, so much easier <laughs> now. Yeah. I can land this thing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. you give me that light at 30, I'm gonna do 50 tonight. I got 20. That's gonna fucking hammer. <laughs> so yeah, it's um. But that is like the juice of it, you know? Yeah. Like that's like the exciting part. The little risk part of it yeah. is making your brain uh, back up your ego. You know, because you're like, I can do this. I can fucking riff 45, mm -hmm. you know? And then you're up there and you're like, I'm hey, seven nice minutes hat. In. And they're like, fuck you. And you're like, well, there goes that seven minutes. <laughs> Which was a little bit of Providence Late Show Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in and there was a guy who was walking funny and I was like, yes, yeah. this will go well. <laughs> and then like everyone was like, don't talk about Connor that way. <laughs> and I was like, I'm really sorry, Connor. He was a sweet kid. I ended up hanging out with him after the show, but I was like, oh, at least I got this guy, you know? <laughs> yeah, so. It's one of this cripple for seven minutes. <laughs> ah, that was your words, not mine. You know? I did say when he went into the bathroom, he went into the bathroom and I was like, if you go in there like this and come out normal, that's the miracle bathroom. And everyone was like, <laughs> did you see the video of that uh the dude who threw the the wheelchair down the stairs yeah oh yeah that daniel Breer's the, daniel Breer's son yeah mm -hmm. that was one of the meanest things i've ever fucking seen in my whole life it's terrible like there was just no <laughs> no fucking reason to do that but hey other than just like <laughs> Fuck that handicap person. I mean, that was. Let's return pure to a evil. 19 year old we're at the club mentality. Yeah, yeah. You're with yeah. your boys. That is one of the funniest things you can do. <laughs> I was surprised by your take. I'll be honest, I was going to shut my mouth. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty good. <laughs> you guys are fucking assholes. Bro. I wouldn't do it, but like watching it bounce was kind of funny. It's yeah. irredeemable, but in the moment, I would have been like, Jordan is the god. <laughs> we got to have this guy to all the parties. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, like watching it. I wasn't stifling laughter, but I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was definitely like, I'll rewind this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it bounces. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's from a guy whose mom was in a wheelchair for six years. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait, so you're, you're saying you get the joy out of just like, the same reason you want to like throw rocks in the water because you're just like throwing shit, or you think it's funny that this handicapped person is going to be like, what the fuck do I do now? <laughs> no, well, where no, was she at all? She's in the, the bathroom. Oh, so they carry okay. her downstairs to the bathroom. She'd be oh. helpful when you really think about it. <laughs> she was already downstairs. Yeah. But she no, at least... No, no, no. Her friends like brought her down to the... They were like, I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Her friends pick her up to bring her downstairs to help her. Okay. <sighs> She leaves the, the chair at the top. Now she has somewhere to sit while her friends use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I think you and I were both like, well, she must not need the chair that bad if she's on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. I was like, I mean, he wouldn't have pushed it if she was in it. Yeah, so no. She's got <laughs> yeah. Dude, you know who really was fucked that night? The people carrying her. Yeah. Who bring her back, and they're like, well, we have to carry her the rest of the night. We got to get this chick home now. We Wait, did this, the wheelchair broke? I'm pretty sure. I would think no. I bet that's got the dexterity. <laughs> wheelchair can get it does. wheelchair can get hit by. It. They're resilient. I'm pretty sure yeah. that was very broken. Yeah, I used to push my mom around New Orleans and just dump her ass out. Yeah, they needed to like buy her a new one. But she said oh, yeah. she's donating all the money to charity. Yeah. Well, I think they got a, a charity that she money. owns that she set up in 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, send it to my LLC. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, I saw that shit and was like. <laughs> <laughs> this is wicked <laughs> well it's like it's, it, anytime you do the worst thing you can do in that moment There's usually is funny yeah. you know what I mean I, mean, I, I, I threw <laughs> chairs like fold up wrestling style steel chairs 
off a balcony of uh, of a senior frogs in, yeah. in Acapulco, I think it was. And it was it was kind of like uh, the balcony, if you will, like overlooked what I would describe as a rainforest. Like yeah. It was just trees, and I couldn't see anything else. And my one friend threw it off, and it just went like <laughs> into like the brush, and like we didn't hear it land, we didn't hear anybody scream. It was just like it disappeared, and I was like. And I threw one off, and the same thing happened. We we went like two or three rounds of it. Yeah. Just threw like five or six chairs off. For all we know, it could have just been like massacring people at the bottom <laughs> yeah. of a mm-hmm. of a forest. And then the people at Senior Frogs like caught on to what we were doing, and we I mean that was probably the closest I've ever come to being murdered and or ending up in a Mexican prison. I don't know how. I think we just gave them all the cash we had. In yeah, that yeah. Moment. Like here's like several hundred American dollars. Please leave us alone. Mm-hmm. But. I, I remember thinking like that was funny in the moment. Yeah, of course it was. If I knew it was, uh, we, if I was throwing a wheelchair over and <laughs> so screwing over handicapped into person. wheelchairs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're raining lead upon handicapped. Yeah. yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, if one of my boys did that, 2006 <laughs> at the worst bar in you know Greeley, Colorado, I'd be like. Next awesome. round's on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so. I mean, I, I mean, everyone always says it. Thank God there wasn't social media back then. Yeah. yeah. Um, because, <laughs> whew, you know how many times I showed my dick and balls to people I barely knew? As like a walk into the really? room gag. See, I never, like, I am still way too shy and insecure to be like, look at my dick. I did. I, They're I hilarious. I love guy. when other people do it. Yeah. I had the balls uh, and a fist all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Pinch them and I walked around with like, like a chick with a hair tie. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> or have you seen my wristwatch? Yeah, That's a classic. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like I, they're funny. I laugh at them. I would never have the balls yeah. to do it. Yeah, and I'm always, always like a little bit jealous of the people who did. God, like, man, God built really... us with a couple of props. <laughs> yeah. you know? yeah. Yeah. One of the more <laughs> look at me, I'm Andy Samberg. Yeah, yeah. one of the more ridiculous <laughs> body parts. Oh, you know, of all horrific. Time. Yeah, and put these. But also, that vagina things... is no no pleasant <laughs> no. piece of pussy. You know. <laughs> Looking that thing in the eye for the first time. <laughs> yeah. you, it's 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 a literal. You built this jigsaw, <laughs> dude. I went I went to um, an ear, nose, and throat doctor because I have um, acid reflux, and they like they did one of those like cameras up the nose. Yeah, and it goes all the way down to your pussy. And it goes, <laughs> yeah. but it was like I was like the human body is just pussy. Like every like she's she, one big pussy. She's like yeah. she's like she's like making me do these noises. She's like go he like a turtle coming like he. Is that how she described it? This doctor? Yeah, no. You ever see a turtle coming? It's very accurate. <laughs> you have it. Use two fingers and then watch it in the eye. You'll know. This world's and, so big. <laughs> and, uh, and, and it was just like, if there wasn't skin, the body is just pussy. It's oh, full yeah. Of, <laughs> uh-huh. like, bro, if we didn't have skin, we're pussy, dude. Yeah. Like, bro, you could fucking elbow. If you just like tighten it up like this. Like, yeah. Back of the knee? Back, back that, yeah. Oh, yeah. That now, bro. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. but like without skin, like you got. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. You're yeah. full puss. Yeah. It is. It's ever Lips are pussy. We're just, we're full of pussy. Nose. Nose, pussy. Yeah, yeah. Eye socket. <laughs> oh, an eye socket is, a, oh, is just an asshole. That's, that's, yeah. that's just a fucking hole. Uh-huh. A lot of hobos bought another can of soup with that method. <laughs> <laughs> Take the patch off. <laughs> Pass the hat around, boys. <laughs> We're eating tonight. <laughs> God damn. Oh, yeah. That is gruesome. That is a gruesome fucking thought. Oh, yeah. Um, but yes, I agree with you. We are all pussy yeah. underneath. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what color it skin. Is, the human it, body I'm going to see if I can pulls. pull up. Like, the way you said that, man. Uh, that, was, that was like a like a scientific like uh, yeah. discovery. The human body's pussy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's great. Uh, so wait, back to back to the movie. So like it got... How does that work when, they, when people say like they... The option, the rights, or whatever. An Australian is. stranger sends you an email. Okay. I mean, says, bro, <laughs> fuck, that's pussy. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. a pussy. <laughs> that's, well, that's why throat. I mean, throats, is, throats yo, are definitely throat, like pussy. Pussy. That is. <laughs> that's, that these, that's, that's, more that's pussy better than, than pussy. That's, that's better, than pussy. <laughs> yeah. that yeah. better than pussy. I know this isn't revelatory. People fuck mouths too, but like we don't. <laughs> it, was, it was the second. It was the second choice for sure. <laughs> well, maybe. Was the second or third? I think probably one. The mouth was one. Probably no. I mean, if you're an ape, I mean, the apes fuck frogs' mouths. You know? No, 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 no. But like, just like, just like. Uh, Nature, you're fucking the pussy first. Who knows? You're I the man know. who doesn't know how cooked food came from, but <laughs> yeah. you're, you're very sure about this. I think animals 
go for the pussy pretty quickly. There aren't any teeth in the pussy traditionally. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you've got a wild one. Yeah, yeah. I think we watched people fuck pussies and we were like, let's fuck some pussies. Yeah, too. but who but someone had to be the innovator of that. You meant yeah. animals. You meant you saw animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, okay. The cavemen watched animals fuck and then they were like, let's do that too. Maybe. And then I think probably there was a slip up and we did a little of <laughs> Little anal, yeah, and then it was a little like, backdoor whoops, and then <laughs> and then it's like, what about this that hole all the way up there? Yeah. You know, because uh-huh. that that seems like the natural progression. That one that has the pink little bed in it. <laughs> yeah, that, that thing that's just yeah, yeah. more pussy than pussy. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I bet whoever got fucked in the mouth first wasn't stoked. <laughs> no, the first mouth fucking was not uh, like a kinky thing. No, I, no, I like no. this. It was like, oh, my mouth's getting fucked. Oh, God, damn. Yeah. God. I don't, it's I don't a think, living. I don't, I, I don't think the first person who got fucked anywhere for at least the first few centuries was yeah. thrilled about, about it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I think the current centuries, they're not too thrilled about it even. No. I think most of the time, they're like, this is not great for us. The first few centuries, they're like, all right, so here's what's going to happen. I'm with my dick in you. For nine months, you're going to get super fat. Yeah. <laughs> then you're going to die giving birth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're like, Sound like, good? You're like, this? Di- no. No, I don't, I don't want this. Like, yeah. Too bad. I have a clump. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and if you live, you're going to breastfeed all of us. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What's the you payoff for that? <laughs> yeah. uh, so wait, God. this Australian guy calls you and just says, I want to finance this? Oh, he's like, I would like the option, the rights of your book. You say yes, because it's more money than you've ever heard of in your entire mm, life. For real. <laughs> and then... Uh, Is that one of those things where, like, you you know you're probably... So, like, he now owns this movie, and let's For say... a certain period of years. Oh, okay. That's the option. He has the option to make it into anything he wants for X amount of years. Got it. And you get money no matter what, though. Yes. yes. But if yeah. it's, like, a, let's say it's a $100 million movie, you don't mm-hmm. get that money. Oh no! That's like there's there's it's built in okay. that there you get a portion okay. of the budget that goes to you if they make Got the it. movie, and yes. but no matter what happens, you get a chunk of cash. You get that bag of cash. <laughs> Baby. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Baby, that's awesome. We're getting that Bronco, yeah. <laughs> and it just went to buying a Bronco. <laughs> like, like, like I worked my ass off to do this thing. I'm the most proud of. And my wife was like, "I'm so happy for you, baby." 2021 Bronco just came Yo, out. Honestly, <laughs> that's, yeah. a pretty, that's a pretty cool way to spend it. For sure, when yeah. When Bronco came back, people were fucking hyped yeah. about that. That's a good way to spend it. And bag. she really lets me drive it whenever I want, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm not pushing that 2008 Impala at all. <laughs> that, th- that thing's rusted shut. Yeah. <laughs> when I need to go to the airport, I'm taking the Bronco for sure. <laughs> it's not an argument at 6 a.m. No. <laughs> what color did you get? Uh, we got like the uh, the weird, like kind of like green gunmetal. Mm, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Very cool. Yeah, like she's stoked. She's from Detroit. It's a big deal to her. Yeah, <laughs> you get a piece like of that. Ford history. American yeah. made, baby. Yeah. I wanted the old Bronco, dude. Yeah, old Broncos yeah. are cool. Portnoy has one from like the eighties. That's Dude. like a, it's like a, he drives it like to and from the beach. I don't think it's very. I don't think it can do any anything over like, you know, fifteen miles an hour. Yeah. but it's a cool fucking car. There was a kid that I grew up with. Not a kid. There was a man that we hung out with because he would buy us beer and he was banging one of our friends. You know? <laughs> that guy, you know, he was fucking our skulls. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Like I remember this guy. We thought he was so cool, and we'd hang out with him and just like worship the ground he walked on. And I remember he said he had this like 16 year old sitting on his lap, and he was like, "Yeah, she calls my dick heroin because she can't get enough." <laughs> and me and my buddy David Boy were like, "We love this guy." And then like 10 years later, I was like, "Remember when he said that? He was like 26." <laughs> like, remember, remember that, that guy that rapist that bought us 30 <laughs> yeah. packs? Yeah, that dude we idolized who always had Keystone Ice. <laughs> yeah, Yo. yeah, he was just a sex criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that guy who had There's logs of wolf so on lock? Much of that, man. <laughs> yeah. There's probably so many of those people. We all that. had one of those yes. guys. Yeah. yeah, you're like, God, this guy rocks. He's got a fucking apartment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's yeah. living right, dude. Yeah. I remember like, the same thing, like high school, a buddy had an apartment. Like he'd already been to war and back. Yeah, and he's yeah. like hanging out with like 15 year olds. Yeah. This dude's the fucking man. Did you hear he threw a grenade into an orphanage? <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> he still gets paid. <laughs> it was honorable discharge. He was just following orders, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm friends with a war criminal. <laughs> no, I'm not doing Science Olympiad this year, <laughs> Mr. Metzmaker. <laughs> I have to drink beer in this guy's truck this weekend. Or he's gonna tell everyone that I'm a homosexual. 
<laughs> Dude, we would do power hours in his van. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, real? yeah. Get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. oh, power hour. It wasn't. It wasn't like a fucking Ooh. rape van. It was like a Ford Windstar or whatever. But Still, bro. Was, was, the winds uh, blow different eight. sometimes. <laughs> Yo. <sighs> oh, power hour, God. <laughs> that was a good laugh about rapists, guys. Yeah, we have good covered it all. Laugh. Swastikas, rapists, <laughs> yeah. the bodies of pussy. Touch them all, baby. <laughs> yeah, we touched every bag. Uh, <laughs> can we do voicemails or no? We can, but will, will uh, we be able to hear them? This is down right now. Yeah, uh, it's we got to get this fixed. Um, the okay. TV's charging. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Was it run on coal? The television's <laughs> charging. Fire up the generators. <laughs> that, that. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that uh. Oh, okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, that's cool. Then we we'll, we'll do that separately, I guess. Then. Right? Oh, can I give a shout out to one of your own? Yeah. Fucking Wonton Don, dude. Oh, what, what <laughs> that a man that changed my life. Really? How I so? fucking watching his content back oh, in the yeah. day before he was even Barstool affiliated. Yeah. And he was just a, you know, a dude who liked beer, like mm-hmm. bumping around in the world. And I was like, oh, there's a place for me out there. Dude, yeah. He really he did it in such a in such a like. It's almost um like it sometimes I think his personality almost doesn't match that you know. Yeah. Like, he's kind of like, very normal in a yeah. way, and I expected him to be, I don't know what, like, just, when you're a guy who just picks up and, like, I'm going to go teach English in China, right. and, like, and for a go, decade, yeah. and yeah. not learn Chinese while Exactly. I'm <laughs> right, yeah. right. And, like, the way he does it, you would think that he'd be, like, this fucking crazy, like, hippie, dippy, weirdo, whatever, and he's just kind of like, yeah, I don't know, what's up, man? Like, I, he likes sports, he yeah. like, hangs out, it's just, it's very, he's a... More, it's certainly one of a kind. That, that was like, like that's like representation is important. Like that guy represented like my wanderlust for the world without mm. becoming like a pretentious dick about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. He's not. He's totally. Like, he and he he always like he'll inform you if you want to be informed yeah, on yeah. it, but not like rub it in your face right, or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. very very cool cat. Have you ever seen when he got his ears cleaned on the side of the road? Dude, I've seen it all, dog. That was. That changed my life. Yeah. When I saw that, I was like, that's the kind of shit that can be in your ears. Yeah. So that's not pussy. Yeah. I told my dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like how you have a very binary view of the world. <laughs> it's like, either it's, it's pussy, pussy, pussy or it's not or pussy. Not pussy. <laughs> yeah. That's actually great. We can, we, can go, we can go through the list and just like pussy, not pussy. Yeah. Pussy? Yeah. Like, 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 like uh, shampoo bottle pussy. Pussy. Yeah. L- l- lunch meats. Pussy. 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 Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, what, what's like, Loaf of bread. Yeah. Pussy. Sea yeah. anemone. What? Oh, like a totally sea cucumber. Pussy. Oh, totally oh. Pussy. Well, pussy. that's almost like dick. I, yeah. I, yeah, I've eaten that. So uh, pussy. It's pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I keep looking at the camera and doing 80s movie bits. <laughs> oh, that's great, man. All right, dude. Well, yeah, we, we did touch them all. Um, yeah. And so, and we just don't know about the movie with, with Red and Light. It'll Garth just like... Ennis wrote the screenplay. The guy did The Boys and Preacher. Oh wow! So yeah, well, I'm, I'm pretty fired up about it. Yeah. I mean, Should I would good. hope that means that it's gonna. I guess crazy things can happen, but I feel like when you start to put in that much effort and money and shit, I have can... no hope for anything ever. <laughs> yeah, I've been a, I've been a comic for Smart too long brother. to get my Smart hopes up. My man, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Getting your hopes up is the stupidest thing in the world. Mm-hmm. Really, when you think about it, it goes back to the ignorance is bliss conversation. Like, yeah. Uh, expectations are the root of all evil. Yeah. If you have no expectations, you can never be upset. It's very well said. So I couldn't agree just, more. Just ho- like if one day a movie falls in your lap, then so be it. Yeah. But if it and also, if it comes out as a piece of shit, I didn't write the screenplay. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, go read the book. The, yeah, movies, yeah. the book's better than the movie, I yeah, swear. That exactly. was blame the, I'm George R. R. Martin. Blame the other guy. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, what <laughs> a fucking free pass that fat idiot got. <laughs> He's just in New Mexico, just, just like living a renaissance festival shit. every day. I was going to say, this dude runs the Jets blog. Yeah. 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 Stop talking about Zach Wilson and finish the fucking. Can you imagine how mad? Is that those, true? Yeah, 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 yeah swear, <laughs> swear to God. He, he, he talks more about the Jets than anything. He's not going to finish the book this year, dude. Yeah, yeah, never, <laughs> never. Now, if he has Aaron Rodgers, he, uh, there's no chance he's going to do anything but watch Jets football. This is a and those two for the poor planes. bastards legitimately had their careers and potentially their lives ruined mm-hmm. by the fact that this fucker wouldn't finish. Oh, that, you, the one you wrote was terrible. No kidding. <laughs> I'm not a fantasy savant. Yeah. I'm just a fucking like, screenwriter on, on television. Uh-huh. Of course I couldn't come up with a good fucking ending. Yeah, I don't look like Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah. Of course I didn't create right. a I world of mirth and magic. I don't wear suspenders magic. and 
train conductor hats. Yeah. <laughs> of course I can't come up with this shit. Yeah, I don't Fuck wear wooden shoes, George. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he ran the Jets blog. So funny. <laughs> that man. is so awesome. Funny. He'll just be writing about like, yeah, I think the draft this year was really good. Like, <laughs> we, we filled some holes. <laughs> oh, my How God. How about you tell me what happened to the fire and ice, you motherfucker? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh, that gives a whole new level to that guy. <laughs> totally. Totally. That rules. All right, so everybody go get the book and get hopefully book. be on the lookout for the movie. Yeah. And, I have a uh, Don't Tell Comedy set. I dropped a 15 minute little micro special on don'ttellcomedy.com. Uh, cool. Awesome. Watch that. Samtalent.com, T A L L E N T. I got dates everywhere, including Union Hall this Thursday. Oh, great. The 30th. I have one show that sold out immediately, and then we added a second one. So get those tickets for the first one. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, we've been having this conversation with multiple people recently. It just seems to keep come up, coming up. I think the whole comedy world yeah. should just do one show. Brother, like, I'm with that now. You know, like, <laughs> like it's just, it's <laughs> philosophically, though, like one show. Like, yeah. be grateful and be happy that you made it to where you're at. Yeah. And don't want and long for more. And like Dude, the money you, you can a... maybe make, it's like it might go good, but it also might ruin the first show. <laughs> like yeah. you're so ha happy you sold it the first show, sure. and you immediately throw that to the side yeah. and give yourself stress about another one. You couldn't be more right. It's just <laughs> but for so long show. you don't sell any tickets. Yeah, right. And then you sell out, and you're like, whoa! I sold them all. And then I've like, become about, God. <laughs> imagine, imagine anything else in life. You're like you're you're. You're doing a test in school. Yeah. And then they're like, you know what? You have a whole other test to do now. Uh -huh. You get to the final question, you're like, I'm done. You're like, no, you don't. You have to do it all over again. Yeah, yeah. You'd be furious. By the way, you got 100 on that first test. Yeah, you yeah, got 100. Yeah, yeah. And, and you don't like, know what the second done. test yeah. is on. And currently, there's 28 <laughs> questions on this test. <laughs> <laughs> you finish all your chores, and then yeah. someone says, you know, and you get all the money for the chores, and uh -huh. you're happy about it. And they go, no, nah, just do it again. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking no. And when you do it this time, all your friends are going to be there, and they're going to think you lied about the other chores you did <laughs> successfully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There might actually be chore industry in the room for this one. <laughs> There's people who want to see if you actually do shovel at a professional level. Uh, <laughs> um, and like, I don't have an agent or management, so like everything I do is just like, oh, sure, golly. Why not? I live in the woods. <laughs> I confuse dirt for poop. <laughs> yeah, of course. The big city wants me again. You got it. Oh, man, that's yeah. fucking great. Well, yeah, go buy the second. Just buy the tickets. Who cares if you even show up? Yeah, Just sell please. the tickets, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a tortillo, so I don't care if you show up. I'll put reserved out. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank bro. you guys Thank for having me. What a joy this was. First guest in the new studio. So I'm honored. Thank you. You'll be a trivia question one day at the very least. Yeah. yeah. Which comedian died? <laughs> <laughs> it's finally April, which means it's time for KFC Radio to go back on the road live. We bring the whole gang out. We're going to hit and up. Uh, uh, multiple theaters and clubs all over the country. We are going to head to Texas on April 26th, 27th, and 29th. It's in Houston, Dallas, and Austin. Uh, and then for May, we're coming back to the East Coast. We're going to be at the Wilbur on the 12th in Boston and then in Stanford, Connecticut on the 14th. So if you are in Texas or in the uh, Northeast, we're coming your way. Get your tickets now. Uh, it's, a, it's a fucking – it's a good time. I think we've got everything figured out now. It's going to be a good – this is like our real first tour, yeah. I feel like. So, uh, and if you've seen the show already, it's a new show. Yeah. So, yeah, you can always come out for more. Where things are always going to be different. This will be our best tour. This is our first real tour where we have everything down. We know what we're doing. It's brought to you by Pirate Water. So, a ton of Pirate Water will be in the building. So, not only is it your chance to see us live, it's your chance to get some Pirate Water for the first time. Have yourself a Pirate Water night. Get pegs. With KFC Radio Live. On stage, in On fact. stage, get I'm, I'm getting pegged on stage. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we really don't know which one that means. <laughs> we will find out what he's talking about. Uh, so get your tickets and shout out to Pirate Water for making it happen. <laughs>